Hello everyone. We've got another beautiful mid-April day here in Wyoming. We're getting more snow. We've got a few things to get done today. Nothing out of the ordinary. As always, we got cows to feed. And I've also got a and tarp a small haystack. We've had it tarped all winter and it's that time of year that we're gonna need to tear into that and start using up some of that hay to get us through until we can start grazing. So that's about what we got on the agenda today, just feeding cows and, and tarping some hay. Depending on how that goes, I might get to a few welding projects also. So let's get going. We've got this little stack of hay out here that I've got tarped. So all, all I gotta do is just go through and undo all these knots that's holding this tarp down. And then I'm hoping that I don't have to get up there and shovel any of this snow off because it's it's kind of already melted off. So we just have this skiff of snow on there right now. So hopefully I can just undo all these knots and be able to pull that tarp down. You can see here that we had a, some cows that got out during this winter and they ate some of these bales. So we're gonna get this stack used up before we Move into anything we got stacked there in the hay shed. We always like to get all our outside hay used up before we use anything we got in the hay shed. So it looks like we got about 15 three by threes in this stack and uh, about 16 four by fours. So that's probably another couple weeks of hay for us. All right, we got her down. It probably would have just been easier if I would have just went and got a ladder, but I didn't, go, I didn't want to go back to the shop and grab it, so but we made it work. All I got to do now is fold this tarp up and we can continue on our way to feeding cows. And I, I warn you guys right now, I'm not a professional tarp folder, so don't be looking to me on how to fold these tarps. And I just try to fold them up, trying to think about how I'm gonna unfold them next year, so. That's all I do. I don't know if it's right or not, but it seems to work out all right. So now that I got all the snow off the top of that tarp, all I do is go through and all these ropes I just take them and then throw them in it back into the middle Then I'll do two or three hot dog folds and then just fold it up. See how nice we make this look. That's about it. I'm sure there's like a, I'm sure there's a right way to do it. I could probably research that too and figure that out. Probably will one of these days. But then I just use a, a piece of twine. I'll tie it up. 
to so stay secure. And lucky for us, the cows broke a couple of our twines here, so I got some twine right here on the stack I can use. That job's done. Then I'll come back when I get done feeding cows and pick it up and we'll take it back over to the shop with us and store it in the milk barn. So let's go start feeding cows. Load up the wagon and head down to the river. Looks like we picked up a hitchhiker. Huh, Jake? What are we gonna go do? Go feed the cows? Excited? Yeah. All right, let's go. So like I was saying, I got my brother-in-law Jake with me now because uh, my mother-in-law is up here this week helping us watch baby Ellis because my mom who usually watches them is on vacation for spring break this week and so we're kind of having to juggle them around a little bit and so they were willing enough to come help us out which we really appreciate it really does take a village to raise a kid you okay Jake yeah you cold no I just feel like tired or something you still tired the dog's bugging you? Yes. Yeah, they're annoying, huh? Alright guys, well that about does it. We got our tarp put away in the milk barn and we got the tractor plugged in, cows are fed and I think I'm gonna start on some some welding projects I got going for this spring. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye Jake. Peace. Peace.